Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and we're going to do a solid state hard drive upgrade on this Mac Mini with this hard drive here, this one terabyte solid state drive. And we're going to use this enclosure and put the old hard drive in it. And um, let's get going. So you're going to use this little pry tool to take it off. You can use a screwdriver to get this off. Um, this upgrade will work on any Mac Mini that's not the current 2018. What I mean by that would be the generation before that, which is the 2014, 2015. Now to get the uh, screws out, you're gonna need a T6 uh, security Torx driver uh, to get these screws out. And so that's what you're gonna use. And then once you get the screws out, you're very gently gonna lift this up because there is an antenna cable and you're very gently gonna lift this up so you can reveal that cable and it is screwed in. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that screw. And then once we do, there's the screw. You can go ahead and you can just lift that wire right out. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna loosen up the fan and it's held in by three screws. And these are uh, T6 drivers also. And so once you do that, you're gonna pull the power cable for the fan. Just You're gonna pull it straight up. So you just pull it straight up and you can see it just comes right out. Okay, and then after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this screw here and this is for the hard drive data cable. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that screw very gently and set that screw off to the side. And then there's a little plate that goes with it and keep those together. And then we're gonna remove uh, one of the screws that uh, holds the logic board in place. So we'll go ahead and take that one out. Just very careful everything you do here. That's one of the longer ones. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the little spudger tool, but you can use your fingernails. And we're just gonna pry straight up. And then we have the data cable loosened. Okay. So this cable is really tricky. See that cable right there in the middle? Well, that same thing, that one pulls straight up, but it's kind of hard to do because the wires are in the opposite direction. So you can kind of pick at it with a screwdriver. You know, I was just kind of picking at it with my nails and I was able to get it, loosen it up. But you want to be very careful with that. The next thing you want to do is you want to take two mini screwdrivers like this that can go through those holes and you can kind of feel them kind of you know, you can kind of feel them in, in a socket on the other side, and then you're going to push them about 30 degrees forward. And, you know, don't force it. You just kind of kind of push them. And you see, as I push like that, it loosens up the whole case. Okay, so next, we're going to remove this cable here so we can remove the logic board. This is the power cable. So we're just going to kind of wiggle it, and then we can pull out the whole logic board. So there's the logic board, motherboard, whatever you want to call it. That is basically the guts to the Mac Mini right there. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take off uh, another screw that holds the power supply in place. So we're going to go ahead and remove that. And then once we do, uh, there's a little clip here that you have to pull out. And once we pull that clip out, you can see that that power supply connector, we're gonna turn that 90 degrees to the left. And then once we do that, it's basically kind of loose. And then once that's loose, the whole power supply just kind of slides out. Uh, and it's, uh, there it is. Okay, so now we're gonna remove another screw that holds the hard drive in place. So we're gonna take this one out. And then once we do, the whole hard drive just comes out. And there we go. Okay, so we're almost there. And our next step is to remove, there's four screws. Now to remove these, this, is, this will take a T7 Torx driver. And once we remove that, you wanna be careful here because there's a data cable and it's covering up the, the last screw that we need to remove. And you can see it there. You just need to kind of push those wires out of the way so I can very gently remove that screw without pinching those wires. Because if we do, uh, we'd have no connectivity. So then from there, once you get that out, there is this, this is glued uh, to the back of the hard drive. And you want to very gently just kind of lift it up because this is a pretty delicate cable and you don't want to bend it too much. So you're just going to kind of very gently just pull that glue away from the hard drive. And once you do that, there's another, see here, I'm using that screwdriver to get it, get it kind of loosen it. 
there's a there's a piece of sec- a tape there to keep that hard drive uh that cable from coming loose and then we're going to go ahead and just remove that and then we will reattach that to the new drive uh, so we'll just kind of set that off to the side and then now we can go ahead and remove uh that data cable okay so here is my new solid state drive and the first thing i'm going to do is there's these little pads uh, it's optional if you want to put these on your new drive. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it because I got them right here in front of me because I don't want anything rattling around in there. I don't want it to be noisier, so I'm going to go ahead and put the little pads on the new hard drive. So what I'm doing is I'm cloning this old hard drive to the new. Uh, so I have uh, the data cable to do that. And then I'm going to take the old hard drive and I'm going to put it in this enclosure here. And uh, and I can also use that as a backup drive or whatever. So you know you can pick these up for uh, six seven dollars. I think I got this one on Amazon. And there it is. It just snaps in place. It's all ready to go. And it has this little cover. And we'll just go ahead and slide that on. And then we're ready to go. Okay. And now we're gonna attach the uh, cape the. Uh, uh, data cable to the uh, hard drive and we're just going to go ahead and snap that on there and then I'm going to use that tape I'm going to put the tape on there even though I don't think it's going to come loose because it is a solid state drive but for good measure I'm just going to go ahead and put it on there so now I'm going to put it in the hard drive tray so we're going to put everything back you're going to kind of feed the uh, the uh, hard, the data cable through the little hole there and we'll go ahead and put the four screws back and make sure when you put that screw in, the one that's on the other side where the data cable is, to be very careful. I use my spudger to kind of move the cable out of the way so when I attach it, I didn't damage it at all. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, hard drive back into uh, the chassis, uh, the case uh, for the Mac Mini. And then once we do that, uh, we will attach the uh, that first long screw. We're gonna put that Put that screw back in there, and this is back with the uh, the T6 driver. So it's that screw on that side. So we're going to go ahead and attach it there. Okay. So our next step is we're going to put the power supply back, and this is a little tricky. It goes in pretty smoothly, but um, uh, you just want to be a little careful with this. So when you put it in, you're going to go ahead and turn that that uh, that uh, that end there 90 degrees to the right. So there's these little slots, these little slots in the aluminum so it can go straight there. And then once you do that, uh, then we're going to go ahead and we are going to attach the, uh, we're going to go ahead and secure. This is the screw that holds the power supply in place. So it's the same size screw as the one we just put in. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that's straight. And then there, and then we're going to take that little, uh, that little clip. Once we got that straight, uh, we're going to take that clip. And we're going to just like this, and we're just going to slide it in at the bottom. So it just slides right in at the bottom. There's a little groove there, and you just kind of push it in. So you see that there? You just kind of push it in. There it is. And then now that, um, that connector is locked. So when we put the cover back on, you know, it's going to go on smoothly. Okay, so that's on. And um, now I think we are ready to go ahead and put back our logic board. So you're very carefully going to slide this back in and you're not going to push it all the way back in. You're going to leave it out, you know, about an inch, half inch, because we have to connect the, uh, the, uh, the power supply cable back to the uh, logic board. So that is a little tricky to do. Um, you just kind of kind of wiggle that, that wire in there. You, you can do it as you're pushing it in. Um, and you can see there, I got it in there. I've done this a few times. I've got it in there fairly easy. And then once you do that, you want to be really careful. You want to, first of all, you want to make sure that it's, it's all the way in, you know, not just part way connected. And then see here, you want to push in on the sides here so, you know, nothing is binding when that goes in. And then you just make sure that there's nothing sticking out. And then you're just going to lay it down on the table like this. And then you're just going to snap it in and it just snaps in just like that. It's in. And just like that, okay, we're about halfway there. So we're going to take that other real long screw that we took out earlier. And that is the uh, screw that holds the uh, logic board in place. 
So we're going to go ahead with the T6 uh, driver, Torx driver, attach that. And then our next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach these cables, and they just kind of push in. So basically, you just kind of feel where the socket is, and you just kind of push it in. And, uh, you know, it's not too hard. So I'm going to, you know, kind of bring it up to the camera here a little bit so you can see it. But you just kind of feel it. So you see it there. You don't want to press it too much just, just so you can just kind of feel it, get in the groove. And then once you do, you just kind of snap it in. Okay. And then the same thing for um, this other one on the left side. That one's just going to snap. And this one's a little harder to do. But you just kind of just have to just kind of do it. I just did it with my thumb. Just kind of feel it. And then, you know, just push it. And then it'll just snap in. There, just kind of lift it on one side. And now those are both in. And now what we're going to do is um, we're going to get the screw and the little cover uh, to lock in that data cable to the hard drive. So we're just going to, there's the cover, and we're just going to go ahead and put that in place. And then once we got that set, we're going to go ahead and put in one of the small little screws. And once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and put the fan back in place. So what we're going to do is before we actually screw this in, uh, we're going to kind of just get it lined up. And the same thing, uh, the power cable for this is just like that last cable we snapped in. And just going to kind of put it over the top, just kind of kind of feel it right over the top there, and just push it in with your finger. And just making sure it's in, and it's in. And then from there, we'll go ahead and put the top screw in first. Now when you tighten these down, you're just going to tighten them down until you feel the resistance, because you don't want to tighten these too much, because these, are, these screws are screwing into the logic board. And you know you don't want to you don't want to damage anything, so you just kind of just screw them in until you feel the resistance, and then you stop. So you just kind of put it in just like that. You just don't want to not too not over tighten anything. And uh, these screws have a little rubber dampers on the top, uh, so you're just going to kind of put those in, and then until we feel resistance, and then we're going to stop. Okay, so once we're done with that. Uh, we're almost there. We're going to put the um, the antenna cable back on for the, uh, this is for the, uh, uh, I believe, the airport. I don't know if it's for the Bluetooth too. But um, that cable kind of just kind of lines up right there. So it's on that last little, and it's a little pin, and you just kind of snap it in with your fingernail if you can. And then you can see I got it in there. And then once you got that in, you can see there's a little screw that holds it in place. And you're going to put that in. Now, once you get this screw in there, you should have six screws left uh, for the cover, the cover uh, to put that cover on. So we got it. Went ahead and go ahead and put that screw in. Same thing. Don't over tighten it. Just make sure that all those connectors are all in place. And then what you're going to do is when we set this down, that wire, when you put the cover on, you're going to kind of tuck it in. So you kind of kind of tuck it under the aluminum there so it doesn't pinch it. And then you just kind of put it in place and kind of line up the holes there. And then the three fat screws that I have there, well, one of those goes on the, on the bottom and then two on the top. So if you forgot where those go, so you got one of the fatter screws, one the, you know, the, the fat-tipped uh, screws, kind of the eraser-tip screws. So one on the bottom and then, and then, and then one on the, on the right and left side. And then the little tiny screws uh, will go on the top and then on the, on the lower sides. And we're going to go ahead and put those in. And then once we got that in there, we just snap that cover in. And then that's it. So guys, there is my tutorial on how to upgrade your hard drive on your Mac Mini. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done that already. And thank you very much and have a wonderful day.